This pregnancy is our first one, obviously. So we haven't really been the best at tracking really everything that's been happening. But my wonderful husband does a great impression of me as a pregnant person and never lets me forget all the things that I put him through. So we thought it'd be fun to make a funny video of Drake acting like me pregnant. <laughs> We've never done this, but never as now. <laughs> Check it out. Babe. We're pregnant! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at all. You're not mad at me. You promise? <laughs> I promise. Oh my gosh. Oh, I really thought you were going to be mad at me, so I'm glad you're not mad. But, oh my gosh, there's so much to do. We gotta prep the nursery. We gotta buy diapers. And I don't know anything about breastfeeding or like, oh my gosh, giving birth is gonna hurt so much. Babe, babe, it's okay. It's, no, it, we are only five weeks. It's well, okay. Okay, but. Oh, babe, what's all this food on the counter for? Well, since we're pregnant now, I've gotta be extra healthy and all the things I can't have those. That's bad for the baby. Um, but yeah, I've got to, I've got to drink whole milk and be super super healthy so the baby grows up really strong inside of me and it's born without any bad things at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh sweetheart, are you okay? Uh, I can't hear anything. Everything makes me so. <laughs> How can I help? You <laughs> can't. You can't help me. What can I help, babe? I, I can hold your hair or rub your back. And I'm just gonna be singing. <laughs> so even though I'm laughing, this really was like my life for so long. <laughs> Drake would be so patient. And I would just bawl and be like, I'm tired of throwing up. <laughs> but you would rub my back and hold my hair. You, you tried so hard. And you would only tell me once or twice, this is your fault. <laughs> cooked all day for you. It's on the stove. Thank you so much. You made dinner for me. It smells so bad. You just can't cook when I'm in the house. I can't cook when you're home? No, it smells so bad. I appreciate you trying to cook and take care of me, but you can't cook anymore. It smells so bad. Okay, Especially so me. Oh. What, what am I supposed to eat? I don't know. Just, you can't cook anymore. Okay, I won't. All snacky. What do we have in here? Oh my gosh, that smells so awful. Ugh, I've got to get an air freshener in there or something so I can like stand and be in the fridge. All right, let's see if I can do the dishes. Oh, I can't do the dishes either. It smells so bad. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> you are doing such a good job. He's like being over dramatic, but I actually do. I couldn't open the fridge or do the dishes. <laughs> and I did put an air freshener in our fridge. And this is like close to seven months later. We had some broccoli that was in the freezer of the fridge that we put that air freshener in. And it still tasted like that air freshener. Yeah. Literally it everything. In everything that fridge. tastes. The water, the, the ice, ice cubes. It was, don't put air fresheners in fridges. It's bad. I learned it's baking soda. Oh my gosh, babe, it's seven o'clock. Yeah, you wanna watch a show? No, I'm just exhausted. I'm gonna go lay down, it's my bedtime. Oh, you're going, you're going to bed, but uh, the sun's still up. I, I'm just so tired, I've been working so hard today. Okay, uh, do you want me to come snuggle with you? Good night, honey. How about, how about I come cuddle ya and we can read scriptures okay. and... Okay. Oh, Sweetie, oh, what's wrong? You, you, you don't stink, but... Just your smell is so bad. You can't. Ugh. Oh, just stay I, I on showered. your showered. Just stay on your side of the bed. Oh, okay. Hey, babe, I'm back from school. It was crazy. I had two tests and three meetings. Well, what did you do today? <laughs> uh, I didn't do anything today. I was just so sick the whole day. Hey, babe, that's okay. You were growing a human. 
okay, but like you come and you tell me that you're doing all these productive things and you're working so hard for our family and I laid here all day and I only folded the laundry for like five minutes, but hey, I got so great. sick you and I, great. that was all I could do and it just... Babe, it's okay. <laughs> this is a hard time. <laughs> you don't need to cry. It's all right. I don't know why I'm crying. It's okay. <laughs> That concludes our first trimester experience. It was hilarious watching Drake act like me, but all of that <laughs> legit did happen. Yeah, that was real. Especially not feeling productive. And so my advice, if you're pregnant and in your first trimester or even second or third, honestly, if you're pregnant and you're feeling like you're not getting enough done, cut yourself some slack. I would lay in bed so sick all day and just cry and be like, I didn't do the dishes, I didn't do the laundry, and I'd compare myself to Drake, which he was doing so many different things at me, school <laughs> and all this stuff, and I'm growing a human and pregnant, so it's like two totally different things, and he tried to teach me and tell me all this, but of course I <laughs> listen as well. But just give yourself grace, have compassion, this is like a crazy time and it's something you can laugh about later. Yeah, you're perpetuating the species. That like trumps all other responsibilities <laughs> that you can do as a human being. So don't worry about that. And from the supporting role that I played, I honestly, my perspective was that I never once was angry. It's like, Aspen, you're not doing anything. No, I never, never thought that once. I understood that she was super sick and super overwhelmed and she was just doing that, growing a human. So, very supportive. Yeah. Remember that, ladies, guys, or supporting roles, partners. partners, if you do feel like they're being lazy, be courteous and just remember <laughs> that they're doing very, very important work. We're going through a lot. <laughs> okay, let's jump into some Trimester. Trimester number Tri two. Trimester two. Oh, thank goodness I'm done with the first trimester. Everybody told me in the second trimester, you're not sick anymore and that you get to feel so much better and you don't throw up at all. <laughs> Those liars! <laughs> Babe, who lied? What's wrong? Everyone, everyone lied! What's wrong? Are you still sick? I'm still sick and it's the second trimester. That's not supposed to. <laughs> Babe, does this dress make me look like I'm showing? Make me look like I have a baby in my belly? No, babe, you're not showing at all. It's crazy. You're like 20 weeks almost. I'm not showing at all? It oh. doesn't look like I'm pregnant? Oh, I, I thought that was a good thing. No, I want to look baby. Oh, you want to look pregnant? Yeah. Oh. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, are you looking at our baby's ultrasound pictures? Yes, I've been looking at them all day ever since we got back from the doctor's office. It's like a little sour patch kid. It's so cute. I can't wait for her to be here. And babe, I'm pretty sure she has your nose. Look. Really? Yeah. Look at that. That's oh. totally your nose in there. Oh, uh, you know, I, I can't really tell. What? What are you talking about? She's got your nose and she's going to have my eyes. Oh, you can already tell it? Oh, okay. Hey babe, I'm home from school. I had my genetics class today. Really? Yeah, it was super exciting. No way, did you learn what our baby's gonna look like yet? You know, genes are kind of really hard. It's kind of hard to tell. So no. Uh, do you know what baby, do you know what color eyes our baby's gonna have? You know, you have blue and I have brown, so it could be anything. They didn't tell you? Oh my gosh, babe! If I push out, it looks like I have a belly. Look, look. A oh baby wow! Belly. Yeah, that's awesome, babe. I can, I can totally see it. Kind yeah. of. It's a little one. Yeah. Oh shut up! Those are so cute. You're gonna need, you're gonna need lots of those. Hey, babe, what are you up to now? I'm uh, just looking through more baby stuff, and I've got a question for you. Okay, what's up? What do you think we should do for maternity pictures? Um, I don't, I don't really know what that is, so Mater I... Maternity, sweetheart, those are the pictures that we take when I'm pregnant. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, where have oh. you been? 
second trimester. What a fun, fun time that was. It was like extended first trimester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It got better at like 25 weeks. I stopped throwing up, so that was nice. Thank goodness, we're grateful for that. Yeah. So just goes to show every pregnancy is so different. They kind of tell you what to expect, but you just do it however your baby says she wants or he wants or they want it to go. <laughs> you just roll with the punches. Yes, and my husband was so supportive. It was more exciting because like I did start feeling the baby move more and like it felt like more real and I was definitely buying a lot of stuff for the baby. <laughs> it was exciting. Now we just hit the third trimester two, three weeks ago. The home stretch. Woo! Baby's almost here. And wow, it hit hard. <laughs> Can't wait to show ya. Let's jump into it. Oh my gosh, babe. I think the third trimester brought my baby bump. <gasps> no way. I can see my baby now. Yeah, I can see it too. You totally look pregnant. Yes. Do I look like good pregnant or like that? Uh, that's a loaded question. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, where are you? Are you ready to go? Yeah, but we have a serious problem. What's wrong? My favorite shorts don't fit anymore. Oh, your pants don't fit. No, I absolutely love these pants. Well, could you just wear a skirt? No, I love these pants. Oh, I've got like four of the same pair of shorts, but they're all just different colors that I like. I love the pocket on the inside. And I love how long they are. They're the perfect length. They're just, oh, they're so good. And now they don't fit because of my belly. Well, how about you just change out of the shorts and wear like a skirt or something? No, I think it's okay. I love these shorts too much. I'm just gonna wear them and they'll just be a little tight. It'll be fine. It's true. None of my nice pants fit me and I was super sad about them. No more jeans. I just wear sweatpants. <laughs> or if I have to go to work or go out on date night, I might just wear dresses or skirts. Mm -hmm. On my serious note though, these shorts by Wowie, the Sapien 2.0s, are the best shorts I've ever had. And I have had tons and tons of Very pairs true. of shorts. Like that's all I wear. I hate wearing pants. I have really shorts, quick silver shorts, rescue shorts, like Lulu's, like all of it, you name it, I've tried it. And these are by far the best. Those are actually his favorite thing about the pants, like the cool designs. And he's not joking, he has so many colors. So I got my black that I can wear with like literally anything. Um, my dark blues, which I wear all the time as well. Totally, it's cool colors. And then probably my favorite pair is this white, or wow, the green with the little white pocket yeah. on the on the inside That's here. Very cool design. I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable, super stretchy. <laughs> Even if I did have a pregnant belly, I could totally squeeze into these things and it would be absolutely comfortable. He the, does love them. The drawstrings are wonderful. Shout so out to Wowie. Thanks, Wowie. Awesome. Okay. Oh, the third trimester is so much better than the first and second. I'm feeling so much better. Oh, it's only 7.30. I'm up super early and I've got enough time to make drink breakfast. He loves bagels. So I'm getting the bagel out. And with my new fancy toaster from Paris, Rome, I'm going to make my sugar swim breakfast. Huh, the whole bagel fits in there. Look at that. It's wonderful. And this fancy glass is just perfect because I am amazing at burning toast. I will never do that again with this toaster because I can see how cooked it is. Now I don't have to pop the toaster up every 10 seconds to see if it's done or not. For reals though, the third trimester, I haven't thrown up once. I do have a lot more energy and just to kind of give back, I do like to make him breakfast and so, this toaster has changed the game because he loves bagels and I actually do burn things very easily because I just forget. I just get going and I forget. I have a lot to do now. And so the clear glass on front is so nice and I don't have to like pop it every five seconds to be like, is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Because I would do that. So this is amazing. Paris Roan, I was so lucky and fortunate that they sent me one, but I'm gonna list it in our link in our description so that you can go to Amazon and get your very own 
toaster, they have milk frothers, they have so many high-end home appliances that you guys will love because we loved them so far. So check it out and let's see what else Drake has in store for this third <laughs> trimester. Hey babe, uh, what are you doing? I'm stretching my back because it hurts. I've been doing research all day trying to figure out how to help my back feel better and they said that this stretch will help. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I've gotta get up very carefully. I can't use my abs at all, otherwise I could just rip them apart and then that would be really bad. Really painful, I don't wanna do that. Yeah, that that's good that you're being careful, babe. Good job. Yeah. Oh, good, you're here. Okay, so I called my doctor's office today and learned that there are so many birth classes. Oh, wow. I signed us up for one already and a breastfeeding class. Oh. And they even have classes where we can watch live births. Oh, do I need to do that? Do you not want to be a part of it? I totally, I totally do. I'll be a part of it, babe. Babe, I'm just, this is just new information. I just <laughs> got home. I just walked through the door. You don't, you don't want to be there when our baby's born. No, I, I, of course I'm going to be there when our baby's born. You don't want to be a part no, of it. here, open up the laptop. Let's watch it. Come on, let's watch the class right now. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, no, sweetheart, no. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, I'm going to watch the classes with you. Why are you crying? We fixed, we solved the problem. I know, and I'm so glad you're gonna watch with me, but I'm still just so sad. What? Why are you sad? I don't know. I just am. I don't no. know what to do to fix it. I think I'm just gonna be sad. You're just sad for no reason? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, it's okay. I'm right here. <laughs> I love this movie. I'm so happy we're watching it. Baby, baby, just move, come, come, come. Oh, wow. I can feel that. Did you feel it? Yeah, I did. Did you feel that one? Definitely. What about that one? Yeah, she is moving a lot. I know. Did you feel that one? I did. It's really? It's amazing. Okay. That was a big one. Did you feel oh, it? Oh, I did. That was crazy. Okay, that was crazy. Oh, did you feel oh, it? Oh, okay. Did you feel it? I did. You did? That's amazing. I'm so miraculous. Oh, gosh, are you so happy that you're feeling that baby? I'm so happy that I'm feeling her. That's so Does great. Does that make you so excited to be a dad? I can't wait to be a dad. <laughs> <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed. That's the pregnancy so far. Yep. It, it's a lot of fun games. <laughs> Definitely time makes it more funny. In the moment, it is not. But in all seriousness, we are so thankful and blessed and lucky that our baby girl has been so healthy that the pregnancy hasn't been as bad as I've heard other pregnancies can be and like we've been so blessed and so fortunate so this is just totally for fun and we understand that it's a very sensitive subject to even talk about birth and like make jokes about it we're just making light of our hard situations but yeah. we know that we're so lucky to be pregnant and expecting. Yeah, we're operating on the uh, idea that laughter is the best medicine. Aspen has had a heck of a time so far <laughs> and she's gonna be an amazing mother. And I can't wait for all that fun stuff that'll happen because it's gonna be so great to have our baby. I know, it's gonna change our whole lives. And again, we're just so excited. And we're so, so lucky again to be having a baby. And she's gonna be here in two and a half months and I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's awesome. We love you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, life, life is, is out, out there, there so, so go, go live it. it. Have a good one.